Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. I have a fabulous early spring Abercrombie haul for you all today. I have found some fabulous pieces over on Abercrombie and I'm so excited for spring. Some of these pieces are very classic. Um, some of them are really fun things to look forward to wearing when it's warmer out. So please get comfy and we're gonna get right into this video. Because Abercrombie is part of YouTube shopping, you will see the Abercrombie pieces pop up somewhere on the bottom of the screen. So you can shop the pieces directly from the YouTube video. Super cool technology, doing cool things, yay. Um, but some of the other things that you're gonna see in this video that are not from Abercrombie that I'm styling, maybe you're interested in those too, you're gonna need to go down to the description box for those. So you can either shop the Abercrombie on the screen or you can shop everything the old school way down in the description box in the order that it appears. Okay, let's get right into it. If you know me, then you know I am a sucker for pink. I love it. The whole Barbie core thing that got crazy last year because of the Barbie movie, I was all about it. I read an article somewhere that said that the bright Barbie pink was gonna go out of style and it was gonna be lighter pink and I'm like, you know what, I don't care. I'm gonna continue to wear my Barbie core. Okay, so if you're with me, this set is definitely gonna be right up your alley. Um, this is a two-piece set that's sold separately, but it is this fitted crepe vest and then um, these gorgeous high-waisted crepe trousers. Now let's start with the vest. This vest, y'all, I live for like a trousers and vest situation. I love a menswear inspired moment. And especially when you can take something like menswear and make it more feminine, that is like, I love that sort of styling angle, if you will. So because this is in pink, obviously that's taking it to a very feminine place. And I love this. First of all, I got this in a small. I initially ordered it in a medium thinking that that was probably the best thing for me to go with because with vests, you don't want the buttons to like be pulling or gaping. That's just not the vibe. Uh, they need to fit properly and not be too tight. So I thought because the model was wearing, I think an, a small, um, that I should probably get a medium because I have a larger chest and sometimes things that like kind of technically are my size don't button up very well because of the boobies. But the medium was so huge. I had to return it and get a small and the small fits so perfectly. Um, I love it. I love this like square neckline. I think it's really cute. As you can see, I'm just wearing this as like a top with the matching trousers and it's such a vibe obsessed. The trousers are also so fabulous. If you're looking for like really good tailored trouser pants, Abercrombie has so many options. Um, they have a couple different styles, but I swear by their trousers. I have them in several colors, both long and some like tailored shorts, which I also really love. So definitely check out Abercrombie if you're into like the more tailored look because you'll be surprised at what they have. But these are the Curve Love version, which I love Ab that Abercrombie does that. So basically Curve Love, they make all of their pants in regular, but also Curve Love. And the Curve Love just means that like the waist to hip ratio is a little bit more uh, exaggerated, I guess. So there's like a little bit more room in the hips and then the waist is like slightly smaller. I don't quote me on that, but it's great if you're somebody like me who has more of like an hourglass shape or maybe you just have a little bit more junk in the trunk, you got a booty, but you always find it hard to find pants that fit you properly in the booty and the hips, but also in the waist, curve love. You're gonna love it. Trust me. Trust me. Um, I also got these in a long length, which Abercrombie is also amazing at with all their pants. They have curve love and regular, and then they also have like petite, regular, long, and sometimes extra long pant lengths. So super size inclusive. I love that. I'm five, seven and a half. So sometimes I vacillate between the long and the regular lengths. What I do is I always go into the reviews and I read a bunch of reviews. I try to find reviews of people who are similar height, similar body type to me and try to gauge what they got. Um, and make my decision there. So because of the reviews, I went with the long with these and that was absolutely perfect. They puddle just the right amount at the bottom of my foot so that I can wear them with like heels or, I mean, even sneakers are fine, but they're not gonna be too short. I hate it when I get trousers and they're not long enough. Like it needs to have a little bit of a puddle so that you can wear some some kind of heel if you'd like. Obviously, this is such a cute set and this is a perfect top. They don't have a matching blazer to go over this, unfortunately. I wish they did. I'd totally wear like the three-piece set. So wearing this right now might be a little tricky because it's a little chilly. So I styled it in a couple other different ways that you can see, like I think wearing something sheer underneath it would be a really great idea, like a long sleeve sheer top. I have this really fun, crazy extra one that I've had for a while, but Abercrombie has really pretty like lace one, which I'll link. Um, 
or like wearing it with this crazy fun trench coat over the top of it that brings in like the pinks um, but with that bright pop of orange I thought was also a really fun way to go so so many different ways that you could wear this and obviously you can break this apart you can wear the vest with something else you can wear the pants with all kinds of other tops and they do come in like a couple other colors if you're not super into pink but y'all I love this set this dress I was not sure about when I first put it on but now that I have it on again I actually it's grown on me at first I thought it wasn't very flattering, but now I'm kind of into it. So this is a stunning sweetheart neckline midi dress that comes in like so many different colors and patterns. So if you're not into this like chartreuse turquoise floral situation, you'll probably find a version of it that you like. I just think the cut of this dress is so pretty. I just, I love a sweetheart neckline. I just think they look so flattering and so just feminine and pretty on has these really thin spaghetti straps that you can adjust and I feel like it's pretty secure like I don't feel like I need to wear a bra with it which is fantastic because wearing strapless bras is not fun um, I also love that it's smocked in the back so it's really stretchy it's very forgiving and the fabric itself has a lot of stretch to it so it just feels really good on it doesn't feel too restrictive this isn't a small tall so dresses at Abercrombie also come in petite, regular, and tall lengths, depending on the dress, which is another great feature because depending on how tall you are, you want that dress to hit you at the right place so that it's flattering. And I know people who are tall and people who are petite struggle with these things. So um, I love that it comes in those different lengths. Usually when I am going to get a longer dress, I'll go for the tall length just to make sure that it falls like nice and long because I do it on a case-by-case -case basis but in this case again I think the tall really worked out I also just think this slit that goes up the leg is so sassy um, but if you're looking for a really beautiful dress to just have on hand and ready to go for like any weddings that are coming up or like pretty dresses that you could wear for date night or any other special occasions this is a really pretty option um, and I just think it's it's very flattering and um, really feminine on by the way, if you're new, hi, I don't normally sound like this. I think I have allergies or something going on, so I'm a little nasally, but my name is Jessica. I share videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel, and if that sounds something you want to see more of and you're enjoying this video so far, then maybe you want to hit that little red subscribe button right down below, and then while you're at it, just go ahead and ding that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video, and if you want to see more of moi, you can find me on pretty much all the social medias as Miss More Style, but especially on Instagram and TikTok. Um, of course, all the social media links are down in the description box where you can check them out. Go say hi to me on your favorite other platform. I would love to hear from you guys over there. And um, yeah, shameless plug over, back to the haul. This dress, I don't know if it's the right dress for me. And I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Because I feel like sometimes when I don't like something on myself, so many people comment and they're like, oh my God, but I love that on you. So maybe it's like my own like insecurities looking at it. But I just, I feel like this dress just doesn't do much for my body personally, although I love this dress. So it's this beautiful one shoulder uh, situation. It's a maxi dress. I'm wearing it in small in the tall length, um, which I think I could have gotten regular length than this just because the regular would have been a little bit shorter, would have shown a little bit more ankle. Um, so I think that would have been a nicer way to go, but it just has like this really fun, um, geometric pattern going on it's just a straight column dress and it has pockets sewn in which that is a plus um but I feel like because it is just so straight and long and it's sort of shapeless in between that it doesn't really do very much for my chest when you have like a larger chest sometimes I really feel like you have to show your waist just to show that like you do have a shape or if you're going to wear something that's like very straight like this it needs to be shorter so that you can show your legs otherwise it feels like I just look swallowed up into this so I don't know comment and let me know what you think I think it could be fabulous on a different body type from mine um I just don't know if I'm completely sold on it but it's very comfortable and I do really love the fact that it has pockets. Now I put a big wide belt over it to see if I would like that, like it better if it was belted and I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure, but I love the belt. Um, I just, it just might not be the right one for me. You know, you just, you can't win them all, can you? Crummy jeans are like my go-to. Like when I need a new pair of jeans that I want to fit really good, that is my one-stop shop because they have such good fits. Their denim is really high quality and I just love the inclusivity of their sizing. But these jeans are definitely a little bit outside of my normal style comfort zone. I went for this like two-toned wide leg denim and 
I am into it, but I just, I don't know. I look at myself in them and sometimes I feel like they make me look a little heavier, but the way to sort of counteract that feeling, I think, is to make sure to wear these with a heel because what you don't want, for me at least, with these pants is for them to puddle on the floor. I feel like that kind of makes you look shorter, not as lean and elongated. So I paired these with a really cute little pair of um, short heel boots, which I love these boots. They're from uh, Naturalizer. I got them at the Nordstrom anniversary sale last summer and y'all, these are so comfortable and they're just, they're classic. And like little small heel boots like that are super in right now, just saying. Say these jeans are very interesting. They're the, they are in a long, so they kind of hit right like they puddle quite a bit. I think I could have done the regular length in these. And what I'm kind of learning about Abercrombie is when it comes to their trousers, it seems like I need to order long in those. But when it comes to their jeans, typically I'm good if I order the regular length. So just a little tip for anybody else out there who's 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, Maybe you can use that as a rule of thumb. They're very comfortable. They really don't have very much stretch, but they fit perfectly in the waist, in the hips, and they're not the curve love style, um, but they still they still feel and look great. And definitely a statement, you know, kind of 90s, something interesting and different. It's always good to, you know, try something different and get out of like your norm, I think, because fashion is meant to be fun and sometimes you gotta switch things up, you know? Next item is definitely super basic, but a wardrobe staple and one that I needed to purchase a new one of, and it's just a white ribbed tank top. But what I love about this one is it's not your typical racerback tank top. I feel like so many like basic tanks come in racerback style, which makes it kind of difficult to wear with a bra. You have to like get one of those things that like join your bra straps together in the back. So I love that this is more of a square neck wide uh, neckline tank top because then you could just wear a typical bra and it's super convenient, I guess you could say. I also just think the square neckline is really pretty and flattering. It's just a little bit more feminine of a style of tank than your typical racerback, even though I do love me a good uh, racerback tank top. Um, I also love that it is cropped. So it comes and hits literally right at where all of my high-waisted pants hit. So you don't really have to tuck too much fabric into your pants, which I love because I just don't really love the feeling of tucking things into pants. It just gets uncomfortable sometimes. So I love that it hits right at that perfect point and it just works with all of my high-waisted pants so well because I personally am always wearing things that are high-waisted and it's so soft. Like it feels so good on, I just, I wanna live in it. And I think I have to go back and get the rest of the colors because I think there was like two or three other colors other than white and, um, I just feel like this is something I'll be living in all spring and summer. It's a perfect layering piece. Obviously, just wearing a plain white tank top is surprisingly a huge trend right now, so you could just rock it. And I think a great way to wear a plain tank top is to kind of layer on a bunch of fun jewelry just to like jazz it up. But again, a great layering piece. You could wear it with so many different outfits. It's a really great building block piece for your wardrobe. Also, I shared this on my community tab the other day, but how freaking cute is this? Amazon designer inspired bag that I just found. It's so similar to the Bottega Veneta Andiamo bag and y'all it's so roomy in there. I love it. It comes in a bunch of other colors of course. I'll link this down in the description box if you guys are interested in snagging this because it's just so good. It's just so good. Outfit is really fun and super casual. Starting with this shirt. Just a really boxy cute denim cropped shirt. It's in a small and I have to say it fits really boxy. So with that in mind, I would say if you're interested in this and you want it to somewhat look fitted to you, you definitely probably want to size down a size. I think if I would have gotten an extra small, it would have fit me in a way that I would like it a little bit more, but it's all good. I feel like the boxy baggy look is definitely in right now. So I'm just going to kind of embrace it. I mean, you can go with a nice relaxed silhouette every once in a while. And I think it works pretty well because there's just enough fabric to where you can just front tuck uh, the front of it into your high-waisted jeans. And that will kind of give you a little bit more of a figure. It will kind of define your waist a little bit more if you're like me and you like to sort of have a more defined waist in your outfits. But otherwise, it's really soft. It's not like a stiff denim. It's really nice and flexible. And I think it'll be a really cute thing to just have going into the spring summer that you can style in a bunch of different ways. I can even see this being cute worn open as like a little cropped jacket over maybe that white tank top. So lots of different possibilities. And it's just a nice casual little piece to have in your wardrobe. Into these jeans. I went back and forth so much about whether or not I wanted to get this color. This is what they call oat. It's like kind of like a light taupe khaki color almost. And I... I really feel like I have so many blue jeans, so I wanted to try to get a 
a pair of denim that wasn't blue jeans or black jeans or white jeans, all of which I already have. Um, something to kind of like mix it up. And I think this was a really cute, I think this was a really good decision because it's a cute neutral. It just, it goes with so much and they're jeans, but they, they change it up from your regular blue denim that like everybody wears all day every day. This is the high-waisted 90s relaxed jean, I want to say. They're not the wide leg, it's relaxed. And I like the relaxed jean because it has just enough of a wide leg aspect to it without it being like crazy overwhelming wide leg pants, if you know what I mean. You're still getting that wide leg look without it being over the top. And I, again, I have so many pairs of straight leg jeans, like more tapered jeans. So I wanted something a little bit different, trying to branch out of my comfort zone. Literally with denim, anything but skinny jeans are the thing to wear right now. So having a different silhouette of denim in my closet in a different color just was, is a nice thing to have. Also have to tell you all, I got these in Curve Love. I always get the jeans at Abercrombie in Curve Love with the exception of the last ones. But the Curve Love ones just fit me so well. They just hug your booty, they hug your hips, and they fit your waist just right. They're just so good. And I also got these in regular length, which was perfect because again, I read the reviews extensively and discovered that uh, the long length was a little bit long. Other thing that you can do is Abercrombie is great about using different sized models in their product photos. And sometimes they'll have a model wearing the clothes who isn't like a size two or zero and five, 11. And in the case of these jeans, they happen to have a model wearing them who was five, eight, who was wearing a size 28, which is the size that I wear and she was wearing regular length. So I knew 5'8", I'm a little bit shorter than that, and she's in the regular, it looks perfect, and voila. So there's all these little ways and hacks that you can do when you're shopping online to try to get little clues to figure out what size to get, and that was definitely a really great little clue that I got there. Also, I broke down and I got a pair of Sambas. Oh, y'all, these are like the hot sneakers. In case you don't know, like every fashion girl has a pair of these, so I had to jump on board because I do love me a nice like low profile sneaker and I didn't get the white black gray version which is like the typical kind that you see all the time a because I couldn't find any in my size and b when I put these on I kind of fell in love with them like I think the cream colorway with the black and then the gold foil on the tongue is actually really nice and I like that it has the lighter gum sole not the darker one so I'm obsessed. It, it initially comes with black laces, but they also give you cream laces. And so I've laced up one of each and I've been wearing them mismatched because I'm trying to figure out which one I prefer. So let me know in the comments if you think I should go with the black laces or the cream laces. Inquiring minds want to know. I absolutely love a classic striped shirt and I am obsessed with this knit sweater short sleeve top. This is like from a line called like the Luxe Soft Collection, which y'all, it is very luxe and it is very soft. It is so comfy to wear. I could absolutely live in this little sweater. So this is basically like a knit, very lightweight sweater, but it's kind of like in a t-shirt form, which I like. And I got the striped version. This is like a cream or a white. I don't know. I can't tell. I feel like it's white um, with very like dark navy stripes. And it's in this sort of like boxy cropped style. Again, I got this in a small and I would say I could even have done uh, an extra small, but I kind of like how it fits a little bit boxier. It's cute. Um, so definitely do not size up in this. You want to take your normal size. Um, it comes in some other colors too, um, which I might have to go back and get just because I'm so highly obsessed with this. But I just think it's really chic. You could wear it with so many different outfits, casual, or you could dress it up for the office really easily too. So it could have a lot of versatility in your wardrobe for the spring and summer season. Also just have to shout out these cute ballet flats that I just recently got from Dolce Vita. They lace up the ankle. Oh my god, I love them. They look like actual real ballerina shoes. So if you want to jump on the ballet flat trend, definitely score yourself a pair of those. And stay tuned because I think I might do a whole dedicated video about ballet core and styling ballet core outfits. So if you're interested in that, definitely drop me a comment and send me some encouragement to get going on that. I said I love stripes. I wasn't playing. I am obsessed with this whole like resurgence of the popularity of these striped cardigan like jackets. I recently tried one of these in my H&M haul, which if you want to check that one out next, I'll link that up in the cards and in the description box. But Abercrombie also has their own version. And when I tried it, I feel like I like this version better than the H&M one, just because it's also part of their Luxe Soft collection like the previous top was. Y'all, this feels so good 
on. I, I can't even begin to tell you. And a lot of times when people wear these, they wear them uh, buttoned up, kind of just worn like a sweater. Um, you could also wear it open as a cardigan jacket over a tank top or maybe like a button down shirt. Um, those seem to be the, the typical ways that people style these, but I think they're just so classic. They're very chic. Um, again, leading into that quiet luxury, old money sort of aesthetic that has been very popular lately. This is, this is something that I feel like I could live in. It's so comfortable. Um, I also want to note sizing wise, I got a medium and that was definitely the way to go because with these jackets, you definitely want to size up one size because you want them to fit a little bit boxier. You don't want them to be like fitted to your body because that's not the way that these are supposed to look. They're supposed to look like a more loose fitting boxy fit and you want to make sure that all the buttons are very relaxed. There's nothing pulling. So definitely go ahead and size up a size, but they have this in a couple other colors. Um, but again, I'm all about the navy and white stripes because it just reminds me of like a nautical theme and I just, I love nautical themed things and so cute to wear with just a pair of high-waisted jeans buttoned up throw on a pair of like ballet flats and grab a classic bag and bam you've got yourself a great wardrobe um a great outfit combo that you can lean on again and again and you know it's going to make you look put together and chic Speaking of classic and chic, if you're looking for more like really good wardrobe staples, I really encourage you to go check out my Quince capsule wardrobe video next. Quince is an incredible brand if you haven't been introduced to them yet. So definitely go over there and check that video out next. Subscribe, please, if you're not already subscribed and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps me out so much. I'll see you over here on this Quince video and if not, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!